This is interior angles, that subheading. So what might you guess the second subheading is? Exterior. Exterior, the opposite of interior. So exterior. Now for this next bit, what I want you to do is just put your pens down. I won't rub this off so it won't, it won't disappear. You can um, copy it down in a second. I just need to, you to watch this because it's a, it's a bit weird. Okay. Exterior angles mean the angles on the outside of the shape. But you do it in a particular way. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me draw, redraw this guy, because it's a bit easier to replicate. Okay, now watch this part carefully, because I remember when I was in year 10, I got quite confused by this, because you can do it wrong. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend each of the sides, but I'm going to extend them all in the same direction. Um, generally, you'd pick either clockwise or anti-clockwise, but it's important you go the same all the way around. So for instance, uh, which would, would you like? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise. Clockwise, fine. So I'm going to go with this one, right? The clockwise direction is this way. You see that? I'm going round that way, okay? So I'm going to extend this side in the clockwise direction, like so. Does that make sense? Wait, sorry, uh, you mean say to the right? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Ah, okay, because that direction, I can't say to the right, it's going to be left and down, and it's going to change as I go around. So clockwise stays the same though. I did this side, done. Now I do this one, I'm going clockwise after all. So it's going to go down this way, you see? It's going to go that way. Okay, so I've gone in the same clockwise direction, so this one's done. Clockwise for this side is to the left, right? So it goes this way, then this way, and my last one is that one. Okay? No, like, what I meant is like, how come you have to do it as like, the diagonal and stuff? Oh, because what I'm doing is, is I'm extending a side. So I'm not going to go off in a different direction. I'm going to go in the same direction as the side, which is why you've, you've, extend, you've made all of them longer, basically. Okay, now here's the important bit. Again, keep watching, keep watching. Each line I've created has an angle on both sides. It's got an angle on both. Now have a look at, for example, this is the first one I drew. See this angle here? What's that? That's 180. It's a straight line. I'm not interested in that one. I'm interested in this one. Okay? I'm just going to call that, um, we use Greek letters. We've seen this before. I'm going to call this guy alpha. Okay? I'm going to keep going around clockwise. This guy here, the one that's not just 180, I'm going to call that one beta. Uh, that leaves me with gamma. That would be, I'll show you how to draw it, that's a delta. And this one in here is, what am I up to? Ooh, this is a fun one. This is epsilon. Okay, okay. so there's five sides. There's five angles, but they're not inside the polygon. They're outside, which is why they're exterior angles. And here's the weird thing. You know how um, interior angles, the bigger your polygon is, the bigger your um, angle sum would be, right? You know a lot of you are carrying a dodecagon in your pockets, which is uh, in Australia. What's the most famous dodecagon? It's a 50 cent coin, thank you very much. Because of this, you guys can tell me the angle sum of that dodecagon. It would be 12 minus 2, 10 times 5. So 1,800 degrees. More sides means a bigger angle. But the weird thing with this is, and you can write this down now, okay? The exterior angle sum, the exterior angle sum of every polygon ever, everywhere, is always, every time, the same number. It's always 360. Hmm. Now that's a bit weird. That's a bit counterintuitive. I can prove this for you, but it's a bit mind-bending, and I want to let it sit first before I... Um, before I explain it to you. So I might reserve that for our next lesson. I just want to show you the result. You can use it before you understand it. And then once you're a little more comfortable with it, I will show you how it happens. Okay? So I want you to write down first, interior, exterior. Okay? Um, please take care, like I said, in how you draw, how you extend those sides. Because I used to like extend one in one direction and then I'd go the other one in a different direction. I wouldn't go clockwise all the way. I'd go clockwise and then midway I'd forget which way I was going and I'd go anti-clockwise for one. And it's a different bunch of angles. So just watch out. All in the same direction. Every single one 360.